Hey, what's happening? Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, hanging out here with Mr. Brian Klopacki, a certified strength coach and FMS instructor. And Brian, we, we're, we've been breaking down FMS and functional movement uh, screen uh, in a series of videos. And in an effort to improve my overhead squat, let's say I've already gone through all the FMS testing. Now we're now we're getting down to what my body needs to be able to do to get better at doing overhead squats, better form, optimize my, you know, my, my, my movement patterns, and, and gain real strength in it. This is functional training. Correct. Okay? So don't confuse, you know, we also made a video about what functional training is. Well, this is functional training. Training that will benefit me in a big movement like an overhead squat. So I'm gonna let Brian kind of take this away what we're about to do. Cool, thanks Chris. Sure. So guys, uh, through Chris's FMS test, he scored a lower than average on his overhead squat. Now from that data, I'm able to put together a program to really open up his shoulder girdle and increase mobility in his thoracic spine. And this is just one of many exercises that I do with all my athletes and clients. So in this position, I'm gonna have Chris get an all fours, now you want to make sure a couple things here, that everything is in perfect position. And this is something that needs to be under trainer supervision because what Chris thinks is normal is not normal. So having that second set of eyes, making sure he's in proper alignment is, is crucial. So as you can see, he's got the foam roller wedge between his, his knees. The reason why we do that is to help stabilize his spine because without that foam roller, he's moving the hips over, he's activating his inner and outer thigh. He needs to really focus on this area of the body. So what Chris is gonna do here, he's gonna do some thoracic opening and closing, focusing again on that thoracic spine and his shoulder girdle. So he's gonna put a hand behind the head, and he's really gonna rotate down, increasing the range of motion, getting a good stretch right across the opposite shoulder, and then as he extends up, then we start hitting that thoracic spine. I would recommend anywhere between eight to 10 reps, nice and controlled, breathing through your range of motion, Guys, this is functional training right here. This is gonna help your overhead squat. This is gonna help retract those shoulder blades in your depth. That's perfect. I mean, my T-spine is, is definitely tight. I just, I would love to be able to open all the way up to the ceiling, but as you can tell, that's tough for me. I get about, what, two thirds? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three on the other side as well. So make sure that that down arm is locked and you are, you know, you're packing that shoulder in the other hand behind the head. You're coming all the way down, elbow to hand. That opens up right here. Now see, he's tight. He's got the strength to force through, but with that extra set of hands and eyes, what I'm gonna do is give him some assistance right there. He just got an extra two inches of opening up that spine. Let's do one more. Oh, no doubt. Actually feels really good. It's like, you get a, you're getting a stretch that yeah. you're just unable to get all by yourself, you know? So, so, basically, if I incorporated this type of movement and did multiple sets, multiple times a week, what could, you know, in a matter of, what, 30 days, would you expect to see massive improvement? Oh, yeah, because there is a lot of neurological patterning that goes on. You're just waking up the body. Right. Everything is capable of doing what it should, it just doesn't because the mind and body are disconnected. And actually says like this, really wakens the, the mind body together to operate effectively. Right. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it. I mean, functional training has its place when you're using it to perform better in the big lifts. So this is functional training. Maybe you need it as well. I know I need to be doing more of this. I should start incorporating it uh, today. So thank you so much, Brian. We're gonna be throwing a lot more videos your way, breaking down functional training, and how it's gonna make you stronger in the big lifts. So stay tuned. Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, don't forget to check the links below. We'll see you soon.